Hi, I am Stefan Yukwanski and welcome to Let's Talk Sports. Today we are discussing the Phillies winning the bell, Union winning in DC, previewing the 2023 Temple Hours college football season, Eagles losing to Indy, and Maxi's passing at the age of 85. Phillies' Aaron Nola allowed one hit and struck out nine in seven sharp innings. Kyle Schwarber homered, and the National League wildcard leading Philadelphia Phillies completed a three-game sweep of the St. Louis Cardinals with a 3-0 victory Sunday. Johan Ross doubled him on his three hits, and Bryce Harper hit an RBI single for the defending National League champion Phillies, who outscored the Cardinals 22-3 in the series. Kyle Schwarber clubbed the first pitch of the game from Drew Wong deep into the bushes in center field. The 436-foot shot was the 36 home run for Schwarber. The Phillies went up 2-0 in the fifth on Trey Turner's sacrifice fly that scored Rojas, and they took a 3-1 lead in the seventh on Harper's opposite field single. Jose Alvarado tossed a scoreless eighth, and Craig Campbell completed the two-hit shutout with his 20th save in 22 tries with a scoreless ninth. Final score, Phillies 3, Cardinals nothing. Good luck to the Philadelphia Phillies in their next game against the Los Angeles Angels on Wednesday. The Union's Daniel Gazdek scored from the penalty spot for his team high in time, 10th goal of the season, and the Philadelphia Union cruised to a 3-1 win against host DC United on Saturday night. Mikhail Yoe and Jack McGlynn also scored before halftime for the Union. Theodore Kuh DiPietro scored a late consolation goal for DC. Final score, Union 3, DC United 1. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against Toronto Football Club on Wednesday. The Temple Owls embark on the 2023 football season poised to improve on its record from a year ago. The improvement actually began last year when then first year head coach Stan Drayton took the helm. Coming off a 2021 season where the Owls were defeated by an average of three touchdowns per game. The Owls were much more competitive in 2022, closing the gap to a one score difference. The offense will be led from the start by sophomore quarterback E.J. Warner. Although he began his true freshman season on the bench, perhaps no one in the country wanted the 2022 season to go on more than Warner. He threw for school records in attempts, completions, and yards in the season finale versus East Carolina, becoming the first Temple quarterback to throw for 500 yards. He is also the first to have two 400-yard games in the same season, and the first to have three 300-yard games in the same season. He became just the second Owls quarterback to top 3,000 passing yards with 3,028. His completions and attempts set the school records for a single season. Overall, the 2023 Temple Owls are expecting to continue improving and competing in the new look American Athletic Conference this season. Good luck to the Temple Owls in the 2023 college football season. Indianapolis rookie quarterback Anthony Richardson displayed flashes of promise while also helping the Colts beat the Philadelphia Eagles 27-13 on Thursday night in the preseason finale for each team. Rookie six-round pick Tanner McKee, the likely number three quarterback for Philadelphia, was 19 for 34 for 158 yards. Final score, Colts 27, Eagles 13. Good luck to the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2023 NFL season. I am a little rusty doing my picks. Last week I went 2-4. Getting the Jets and Jaguars right, I missed the Falcons, Eagles, Patriots, and Saints. Maxi Barhan, a college football Hall of Famer from Georgia Tech and a nine-time pro bowler in the NFL has died. A native of Fort Lane, Alabama, Barhan played for coach Bobby Dodd at Georgia Tech as a linebacker and center. He was a second round draft pick, number 20 overall by Philadelphia in 1960. He started as a rookie for the Eagles 
1960 NFL Championship team, earning his first Pro Bowl selection. Bohan also played for the Los Angeles Rams from 1966 to 1970. He was an assistant coach at Georgia Tech from 1972 through 1973, before he spent one year as a player coach with the Washington Redskins in 1974. Bohan also coached in the NFL as an assistant with Baltimore, Detroit, Minnesota, and Tampa Bay before becoming Cornell's coach in 1984. Bohan coached Cornell to the 1988 Ivy League Co-Championship, the school's first since 1971. Bohan was named one of 12 semifinalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame's class of 2024 in the seniors category. Bohan was inducted into Georgia Tech Hall of Fame in 1965 and the Eagles Hall of Fame in 2015. Maxey will be sorely missed by football fans worldwide. The Philadelphia Eagles was established in 1931 as a replacement for what team? The answer, Frankfurt Yellow Jackets. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC found on most streaming services. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.